Coming up on The Lowdown today, a new world record speed run was achieved in Halo this time. Do you think that gaming relieves stress? And Xbox One has a new subscription deal. The Lowdown starts now. Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth Panos with The Grid Gaming, bringing you the lowdown today. A new speedrun world record was reached, this time in Halo. Speedrunner Goat Rope completed Halo Combat Evolved in 97 minutes on legendary difficulty. 1 hour, 36 minutes and 40.69 seconds to be exact in a game that should take about 9 to 10 hours to complete. Goat Rope only died seven times throughout his entire world record and used grenade jumps and getting vehicles into areas they're not meant to be taken to to help shave off his time. Do you guys do anything to cut corners in Halo? Trials Fusion fans, the first of six DLC packs was released today, Riders of the Rustlands. Let's take a quick look at the trailer. PlayStation blog, Riders of the Rustlands brings 10 new tracks to Trials Fusion, including 6 medium and up difficulty classic Trials tracks, 2 Supercross tracks, 1 skill game, and 1 FMX track. There's also secret locations, 18 track challenges, and more. Ubisoft stated that you can expect the next DLC pack shortly after in August called Emperor of the Sky. You can now pre-order the GameCube Super Smash Bros. controller with the adapter for the Wii U on Amazon.com. They're expected to release on December 31st, 2014, but the concrete date will be released when the game itself has a release date. You also have the option to pre-order the game, controller, and adapter, all for $109. Separately, the controller is listed at $29.99, the adapter at $19.99, and Super Smash Bros. for $59.99. All right, Taylor and Josh are going to tell you guys a little bit about what's coming up next. Thanks, Elizabeth. This is the Social Hour. Social Hour! Where? And we're bringing it to you because we are the men of the people. This is where we read tweets and Instagrams and Google Plus, if you even use that. We do a lot of YouTube. But here's one. I did P90X program for a while. Definitely intense. I should get back on it. So, Aaron. You're wrong. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw it yesterday, but uh, she did a thing about P90X on the Xbox, and Aaron said nobody cared about P90X, but Aaron, once again, completely wrong. Complete And, and we'll be bringing failure. you all that and more on Social Hour coming up in a few minutes. In just a min. Back at you. Thanks, guys. I know a lot of people, including myself, who come home after work or school and just play video games or turn on the TV. A new study says that if you're stressed, playing games or watching TV at the end of the day will only make it worse by increasing feelings of guilt and failure. The study called The Guilty Couch Potato, The Role of Ego Depletion in Reducing Recover Through Media Use states that people go into a state called ego depletion. This is where people's guards are down and they are exhausted and can feel even more tired and fall into impulsive behaviors and give in to temptations like eating junk food. The study labeled gaming or TV watching as procrastination rather than relaxation or entertainment. The study further went on to explain how smartphones aren't helping either, but what do you guys think? You can read the full study in the description below. EA announced earlier today a new subscription for the Xbox One EA Access for just five bucks a month. Some users are able to access EA Access today in beta. The current list of games available in the vault includes FIFA 14, Peggle 2, and Battlefield 4. More games will be added in the near future, but already you'd be getting over a hundred bucks worth of games for just five dollars a month. EA stated that during the beta you'll have unlimited access to all four games. It's a survival game daisy causing high stress levels for gamers. The post-apocalyptic game may have more influence on our behavior than we realize. A professor of robotics and artificial intelligence at Manhattan College published a survey funded by the National Science Foundation to find how daisy players develop certain habits due to the game. The description on the survey states, 
This survey is a part of research funded by the National Science Foundation to understand motivations for and outcomes from online gameplay. And then goes on to say, in particular, this survey inquires into players' experiences in the survival horror game Daisy. Daisy is available on PC, and as of now, developer Bohemia Interactive continues to make corrections as needed. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Elizabeth Panos with The Grid Gaming. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Grid Elizabeth and also on Facebook at Elizabeth Panos. And now Taylor and Josh are going to take you guys away with Social Hour. What's up, guys? Today we are looking at exclusively YouTube exclusive comments because YouTube. we just found some good stuff on there and we wanted to talk about it. We really want to talk about you YouTubers because yeah. we love you. So the first one from Killa Retro. He says, awesome stuff, guys. Thank you. That E.T. movie looks really interesting, and the P90X on Xbox looks pretty awesome, too. Once again, proving Aaron wrong. I also did 90 days and it was amazing. First time ever had a six pack. Cheers. Did you ever do P90X? Uh, no, I don't have the discipline nor the desire. Nor the drive. I actually did it once. I did like super ab X roller thing, but it was, it, was, it was really hard. Yeah, I bet. Um, but, and I have, a, I have a stellar six pack now. But Just I, naturally. I, I, I won't. I won't, I won't flash you this time. Why not? Taylor's gonna read the next one. All right, coming from Short Fuse. Short, uh -oh. I knew it. He's up. a Nazi sympathizer talking about Aaron. For shame, Grid Gaming, for shame. I don't know if you guys saw yesterday's video, but at the beginning of Aaron's doing the social hour, he did a- uh, he, was, he did a- He, did a, he a, did a little salute, and it was a little questionable. A little, a little. We're, we're trying to wean him off of his mm -hmm. ways, mm -hmm. you know, slowly but surely. He has actually a tattoo of a, of a bad symbol right here that I'm not gonna it's, name it's and I'm not gonna nice. take. It's not the nice. next one, from me, plays. We Fit Trainer will be my main in the next Smash. We're super stoked about all the new Smash Brothers characters, Mega Man, Wii Fit Trainer, all the fun I, I stuff. just hope I don't have to actually work out while I'm playing Smash, because yeah. that's, that's... We, we, we don't want to do that. And Taylor's on to the next one. Okay, great lowdown segment, as always, guys. This is from Ree Lewis. Uh, thanks for sharing. You're welcome. I, we appreciate We're here to please. kind comments. That's what we want to do. We're the men of the people. That's what we are. We are the men of the people. And nextly, from OKChief420, okay can't wait for Destiny to drop in Sept... September. Also, can't wait for the documentary to drop on E.T. too. Love to show you guys. We love E.T. And we can't for wait for the documentary either. I can't wait for Destiny. I have to agree with you, OK Chief. I, I played the beta. I know you weren't lucky enough to play the beta, but it was, was amazing. Unlucky. I seriously didn't want to put it down. I had to because I had to do something around here. You know, every once in a while I've got to do something. But it was really fun and I can't wait for it as well. Let's do it. And so we got Dr. Claw 411. The grid needs its own website. It's already my favorite gaming news source. Yeah, we, we got some coming it's, up for it's you. It's cooking. It's cooking. Yeah, cooking. We, we, we know what you're saying. You'll see. You'll see what we got. Like we said, men of the people. We'll bring it to you real soon. Last one right here. The last one from XNAM Core X. I didn't know Johnny Knoxville had a fitness program. Johnny Knoxville has a fitness program? Does he? Now thanks for joining <laughs> in to Social Media Hour Buzz. We'll see you tomorrow. Send us more stuff on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. We love you guys. MySpace. Peace out.